Hello! One of the products that came from the uh, Modular in a Week project that I did talk a lot about during that the duration of that uh, build is the Proto board which um, I did. I, I did it in because the the usual proto boards, is, whether it's strip board, Vero board, uh, one solder point uh, proto boards or three padded proto boards, uh, I felt lacked a bit, and especially when working with ICs, which a lot of the modules in a module modular module is, uh, with all the op amps and the OTAs and the CMOS chips and stuff like that. Uh, so therefore I created this one. And I'd just like to go through uh, how this is built up and then I can tell you how you can get one of these. If we begin on the top, uh, I have added a Eurorack uh, power connector with uh, plus, ground and minus for those of you who wish to use that or you can just use these pads right here and it's like this it's the these on the right side is square and that's because power uh, or voltage plus is usually on the right side of most ICs that you attach and so this is the special part about the proto board uh, these pads here that you see uh, are so you can take say you have plus uh, plus voltage ground and minus voltage for example you can have anything you want here but that's the my original purpose so you have plus voltage going down on this side here and if you put an IC in and you want plus voltage on that pin then you just solder this little solder pad together and then you have plus 5 volts and the same on the left side where usually voltage minus is you just solder these pins to that pin uh, or those you solder these solder pads together and you get voltage on that pin and these three solder pads and that's so they are three solder pads together and then a, another three and that goes all the way down and there's again one of those solder pads there in between so some legs usually you don't need more than two maybe three and then sometimes you need way more uh, so by just connecting these two solder pads together there you get uh, six pins or five pins uh, uh, along the together with the IC if you use an IC or else you just use it as three by three and three three and then on the side you have another two and two and these are usually used for uh, connecting panel connections so sockets and potentiometers etc so the middle pin you say where, where do I get that so say that is ground so on the back side we have the same thing we have ground going down the middle and here we can choose to get it either on the left or the right side because ground you usually need on both sides so I solved that that way and that this is the main point of the proto board these these buses going down the middle and we follow it down it is just the same all the way down and down here we have just three more if we want to have power taken from the bottom instead a lot of big white surfaces to add notes on also here and the same on the back side and also here 
if we want to add nodes to where the connections what, what connection these on the left side is also uh, it is numbered A to Z and then it continues with small letters so there's you can really see which pen you're at and 1 through 14 and I see that I forgot to add these here oh well um, and this is also important I've seen many protoboards where when you flip it the numbers are are not mirrored but they are here so row 1 is row 1 no matter if it's on this side or on this side and for people like me that usually mess these things up that is important so that's the protoboard so let's uh, take loads of examples here this is the AAC VCO I did the second one so here you have minus 12 volts ground and plus 12 volts coming in and these are all, all TL074s down and so here the, it is you have minus let's see my minus 12 volts on pin 4 so there and plus 12 volts on pin 8 all on all these chips and this one has quite a lot of connections to ground so up here we see there is one ground connected to that row and here is another one there is another one on that side um, here's another one and here is another one uh, if we take another circuit which only has plus 12 volts and ground this is the the uh, digital noise 4006 so it only has ground and plus 12 volts and the same here the plus 12 volts is connected on the 16th pin I believe up there on both that chip and that chip 4006 and the 4070 uh, and then the ground terminal to both these chips are on the back side so there to the first one and there to the second one and there's not much more than those two connected to ground there this is the DIRT, uh, the Syntrotech DIRT. Some of these use the first version of the panel, so it doesn't look exactly the same, but the, uh, the functionality is the same. Here I did a mistake by, by having plus, plus ground and minus 12 volts, but it's actually only supposed to run with plus 12 volts in ground so what I did is in this case this was just to prototype I connected a cable there so I have ground on the topmost and on the bottom one as well I could just as well just solder these two pins here together along with the pins on the back side and I would get a ground on both the top side and the bottom side there is one circuit or one IC that I that seems to be, have plus on the uh, left side so this is the colored noise module and we have plus 12 volts ground and minus 12 volts and here's a TL074 connected the right way but down here is a TL074 and that one is actually has plus 12 volts on the fourth pin and minus 12 volts on the 
is it 11th uh, that pin anyway so TL074 is needed to be switched around upside down like this this doesn't matter really because the op amps look exactly the same you have the three pins there three pins there they're all the same oriented with no matter which way you orient the IC and as you can see all the modules have the ICs along this bus here you can put other components here of course no problem with that so this is the MS20 OTA filter and here we have the the new version of the panel so had have some notes here on what's on the pins minus ground and plus 12 volts as usual here we all here we again have a TL074 so it's turned the wrong way and down here is the 13700 turned the right way and a few ground pins here as well so this is the the LM13700 it's uh, mirrored so both sides look exactly the same so both sides are connected on this one to ground so maybe you'd like to have one of these and I've been thinking on and off how I could manage this and initially I thought I could do a Kickstarter to really kickstart things off and get a lot of these boards made really cheap for a lot of people but I'll choose to do it like this I created a Tindy shop where you can buy these uh, one-offs or buy a few and, and get them a bit cheaper um, they're about as cheap as the any uh, proto board is uh, I'll also get a try to see if any distributor like Thonk or anyone like that is interested in having these in their uh, assortment we'll see but I will also uh, share the Gerber files for this on my patreon to my five dollar patreon supporters so if you want this one then you can become a five dollar patreon just do it one month that would be enough <laughs> uh, to to get the Gerber files and then you can make these uh, yourself I made these with JLC PCB which is not sponsoring this video mind you uh, and uh, it's a really nice service and for about ten dollars or fifteen dollars with shipping I, I think they've raised their prices a bit so fifteen dollars with shipping uh, you can get twenty of these because uh, and that is one of the things I did uh, the form factor is so you can just fit two of these on a 10 by 10 PCB which is their maximum for their really cheap PCBs so you get 10 double which you just snap off and get uh, 20 single ones uh, so if you want if you know you want really many of these that is a really cheap way of getting so you get 20 proto boards for $20 uh, basically or go and check out my Tindy page if you just want one or two offs of this as always I hope you like this video thank you for watching like subscribe and all that and a special shout out to my patreons again who are really supporting me and making these videos in my spare time